Softball team had their home opener against the Iona Gales. We're inside because it's dark outside now. Yes. And they played two. Um, and I have a present for you. Since it was cold outside, hand warmers Ooh. for next time. Thank so you. there you go. Thank Diana Consell, Magna, the third year head coach. Let's break it up into, into two games. Uh, both the games you have to come from behind. First game, 6 4 win. And you get a great seven innings by um, Susanna Kudernach over. That's the first time that we've been able to see her since you guys have been playing on the road the entire time. Talk about her pitching and talk about how the offense was able to kind of battle back and get that 6 4 win. Our offense did a really good job coming from behind and then coming up and scoring runs. Um, got the hits together, put a couple of people, some good base running. So that worked out well. And Zuzana does a good job. She keeps us in the game. You know, she um, hits her spots and moves the ball a bit. And that's what we need, you know, gets us the ground balls and fly balls we've been talking about. It was the bottom of the order in uh, Sawyer Freed, the catcher in the first game that came up with the big hit, uh, I believe in the sixth inning as I've tried to cycle through all the innings. But uh, just talk about her. She, she That was her first hit of the game, and, you know, she came up. It was a two-strike hit, and she was able to put one in the left field. Yeah, the first game feels like it was yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah Soy did a good job of making good contact. That's all she needed to do at that point, and she knew it, and that's what she get up, got up looking to do. Uh, she picked a good pitch and just made good contact to knock that run in. So there was about 25 minutes in between the two games. Second game, uh, it was all offense or lack of defense, whichever way you want to look at it. Half class full or half class empty. And uh, we'll go to the big inning in the fifth. You guys get down by five, down 10 to five, and kind of thought the game was over. Then all of a sudden, the offense scores five, tie the ball game up, seesaw battle back and forth. And then finally, two hours and 43 minutes later, <laughs> it is Jackie Kelly coming up with the game winner after that international tie-breaking rule where they put the uh, final out of the prior inning on second base. Yeah, that summed it up. I mean, I really love the Faena girls tonight. Uh, yeah. They And I could say tonight because it was. <laughs> um, they worked real hard on, you know, doing what they had to do at the bat. Got some runners on, knocked some runs in. Jackie Kelly got up in a clutch situation and did her job. And that's what it all comes down to. As long as everybody goes out there and does their job, play their roles, we're okay. Now, you guys, this is 30 games into the season. This is April 3rd, and it's your home opener. Do you feel relieved and all excited at the same time? Yeah, we've been talking about playing at home for a while, and it is an advantage. It's nice. It's uh, Again, we've only been able to practice on the field maybe once or twice. Yeah. But um, it is nice to be on a home turf and be able to go back in a locker room after and not back on the bus or in the vans. Well, it, you don't have to wait too long. Uh, the Hawks will be in action at America East play coming up on Saturday as the Boston University Terriers are coming to town. We'll have that double, four, double header for you here on Hartford All Access. But that's Diana Consell Magno. I'm Brian Rosario saying so long. We're actually warm and it is nighttime uh, here in West Hartford.